Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Joe Gas here, and today I'm gonna actually tell you guys how to get Google Chrome OS Beta actually running currently on any Windows or Mac. So basically, how to get Google Chrome OS Beta. Now, there's been a couple videos out lately, and Google has officially announced that they're making an operating system, and there is a leak of a beta and someone converted it into a virtual machine and so now it's available through virtual machine applications such as VMware Fusion so in order to get Google Chrome OS beta currently right now this is like not even I wouldn't even consider this beta like maybe alpha because it's really um, it's sorta of stable but it's got some missing features First thing you're going to want to do is download an application called VMware Fusion. And this is for Mac and Windows, I believe. And that is just a thing where you could run operating systems natively through that. And secondly, you want to download the Google Chrome VMDK disk image. From this link I found, you want to create an account on gdgt.com um, once you create your account just click on this link right here and it should download should take about maybe 15 minutes next what you want to do is open up VMware Fusion or any application such as this one I'll put the links in the description to download this and now what you want to do is go to file new continue without disk use an existing virtual disk check that in then you're gonna browse go to your desktop or whatever you save it to and click on the disk image and then continue M make sure the operating system is other and the version is other and when it says is this this was made on a newer version click convert don't click don't convert click convert then uncheck that finish and I'm just going to name this Google Chrome OS. Save. And this window is going to pop up. Um, we're just waiting for Google Chrome to actually load. So just bear with me here. And we have this startup menu. I'm going to go into full screen. The resolution is very screwed up in full screen and pixelated, but that's okay so this is what it looks like and all we have to do is click in alright so now what we want to do is actually type in a Google username so basically if you have Gmail mine is Joe Gas Mail and there's no cursor in the startup so you just have to press tab when you press tab it automatically generates at gmail.com and the password to your uh, to your Google account and before I do anything else, press Control Command to go out of the little thing, and then press Control Command Return to minimize it. Right over here in the connections, click on what is it? Um, this little thing right here with the brackets. Click on Bridged. Make sure that is connected. Bridged Auto Detect. You need that. Then go back to what we were doing. Put this in full screen. And now that you have the password in, so your username, press enter. Chromium OS signing in. And what do you know? So let me just minimize this window current. Oh. Sorry about that. This is basically it, guys. Um, so what this is, is basically Google Chrome in a operating system. You got the settings up here, the time. Um, and we can restore if there's any crash problems, but that was just because I logged in and logged back in. So, And it's a pretty much fully functional web browser. So let's say I go to my website. JoeGas.com. Um, it didn't really delete there. 
JoeGas.com. Now let's go to it. Loads very quick, actually. And there's my website. The dimensions are screwed up, which they're going to eventually fix. Um, you can go back. Um, these are This is where all the Google applications are going to be. But right now, there, there's nothing there. And so I can log in. Let me just go in here, actually. And log in. I can choose from all these applications. So YouTube. And there we have YouTube. Let's see what I could do. Can I drag this? No, it doesn't work. But that would be pretty cool. There's Twitter, chess, all this good stuff. The favorites. Um, there's no bookmark bar yet, but the favorites do add. They just don't appear anywhere. It's pretty weird. Um, there's the refresh, settings. You could move around the tabs. There's no animation, but there is actually animation, but it's very laggy. And let me just try to find a YouTube video of mine. This is the giveaway. So, as you may notice, it is built in with a flash player but it lags and it doesn't have any audio so that's something they need to approve on um, so this is basically chromium or google chrome operating system i like it a lot i mean i would definitely use this maybe on a netbook or something in the future just a little simple thing where you just need to go on the internet it's perfect so that's Google Chrome and how to get the basically beta right now. Just suspend that. And so, yeah, guys, this is basically it. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. And please subscribe for more videos like this if this helped. So, thank you very much. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And have a nice day.